disappointed. No matter of fact, no, no, no. I'm not disappointed. Because if you were to tell me that, hey, Shamar, WWE is going to, well, no, not even WWE, Vince McMahon is going to make a group that's supposed to infiltrate WWE and it historically fails, I would not be surprised. Matter of fact, I would put my money, all my life savings, on that happening. The Fiend and Alexa Bliss just just murdered, not even Alexa Bliss, The Fiend just murdered the whole entire Retribution group. And it's weird because why even have them remotely close to each other? And not only that, the Hurt Business made them tap. It seems like Vince McMahon has just given up on them. And you you can't do that. You cannot do that. Because if you do that, you're ruining careers. You're ruining Maya Yims. You're ruining Mustafa Ali's. You're ruining Dio Madden and whoever else is in that group. I don't even know. Slapjacks, whatever whatever horrible names that are. That is, that is. You're ruining it. You are ruining their careers. You cannot make a group like that and then treat them like they're a regular group just because they got a WWE contract. You can't do that either. They're not a regular group. The name is Retribution. If that was the case, just make the Nexus. Just make the Nexus over again. Because I would have enjoyed I would have enjoyed a Nexus return way better than what we've seen with Retribution. It's horrible. Uh, fantasy bookers can can do a lot more than what Vince McMahon is doing. And and sadly that has been the case for over three not even through six or seven years now. That has been the case. I believe WWE fans can actually book a better show than Vince McMahon. And it's, I'm not, I'm not even like, because we're always still on, but it's going to be horrible. It's going to be horrible. The Fiend and Alexa, for some reason, was coming to the ring. They weren't, they didn't even say anything. Retribution comes out and interrupts them. What did they erupt? I have no idea because they weren't talking. They didn't do anything. Alexa, with this cringy beginning star, he's here. Like, no, don't do that. I mean, I like Alexa and The Fiend, but that was cringe. And um, <laughs> the Hurt Business, just, they just follow Retribution anywhere they go, even though they're heels. I mean, it just doesn't seem right. I mean, if you're going to do that, turn them face. You have the Hurt Business fighting Retribution, and then on the other hand, fighting Ricochet, stuff like that. That doesn't make sense. AJ Styles has gotten paired up with um, the big guy, and they pair and they tell him to fight Matt Riddle. I'm pretty sure he's going to lose this match to. He kicked out. I'm pretty sure he's still going to lose this match. This it just it just doesn't make any sense. Nothing on this show makes sense, and I can bet you. Even when this continues, it's still not going to make any sense. This show sucks. And uh, I know it's still early, but come on. When has Raw had a good show? When has Raw had a good show? And and it, it, it just... It, the, the, it was the last draw when Retribution got buried by The Fiend. That's not what you do when you have a group like Retribution. Where so many careers are on the line. Their careers are, are sadly over. Because how are you going to get them back in? You're just going to magically draft somebody to SmackDown. Trade them to SmackDown. And then just take off the mask. I mean, I guess you can do that. But like, we would never forget. <laughs> you were in Retribution. A group that failed. <sighs> so many young careers. Wasted. Mustafa Ali. Wasted. Mustafa Ali is is going. This is going to hurt. Like his his career might just be over, unless they just totally repackage him. <sighs> anyway, I think my rant is done. I've got it out. My bills just lost, so I wasn't in the mood. 
I was not in the mood for this at all. Um, yeah. So uh, my name is Light Kings, guys. If you like these videos, comment down below. Comment down below if you like this segment. If you like this segment. And I'm not just talking about, don't say you like this segment just because The Fiend and Alexa are in it. No, I'm talking about, did you like this segment? Did this segment overall entertain you? Like the video. And my name is Ike Kings, guys. Thanks for watching.